We want to add and subtract these expressions using complex numbers, but the first thing we need to do is simplify these using complex numbers. Meaning a complex number must be in the form of a plus or minus bi, where a is a real number, and plus or minus bi is an imaginary number, where i is equal to the square root of negative one. So looking at our first example, we need to simplify the square root of negative 36 and the square root of negative 121 using complex numbers. And we can simplify these in the same way that we simplify other square roots, except because the radicand is negative, we'll have a factor of negative one underneath the square root, which will simplify to i. So for the square root of negative 36, we can write this as the square root of negative one times 36. And then for the square root of negative 121, we can write this as the square root of negative one times 121. Notice that 36 and 121 are perfect squares. And we can show this by writing this as the square root of negative one times six times six minus the square root of negative one times 121 is equal to 11 times 11. So now because we have two equal factors here, we have a perfect square factor and this will simplify, but so does the square root of negative one now using complex numbers. And over here, this simplifies as well as the square root of negative one. So this is going to simplify to a factor of six and a factor of i, or six i. This is going to simplify to a factor of 11 and also a factor of i from the square root of negative one. Now that we have two complex numbers, or more specifically, imaginary numbers, we can go ahead and subtract these like we would like terms. Six i minus 11 i is equal to negative five i. Next, to find this sum, we first want to simplify the square root of negative 49 and the square root of negative 81. So we can write this as seven minus the square root of, because the radicand is negative, we'll have a factor of negative one. And 49 is a perfect square because it's equal to seven times seven. And then for the square root of negative 81, because it's negative, we have a factor of negative one. 81 is a perfect square, it's equal to nine times nine. So in this form, we should be able to simplify these imaginary numbers. We have seven minus, this is gonna to simplify to a factor of seven, as well as a factor of i, so we have minus seven i, plus, here we have negative 11, plus, this simplifies to nine, this simplifies to i, so we have plus nine i. Now that we've simplified these to complex numbers, we can go ahead and add them by adding the real numbers and the imaginary numbers. So let's go ahead and clear the parentheses. We'd have seven minus seven i plus negative 11 plus positive nine i. So we have seven plus negative 11 that's equal to negative four. And now we'll add the imaginary numbers. We have negative seven i plus nine i. That's gonna be a positive two i. So we have plus two i. Okay, that's gonna do it for these two examples. I hope this was helpful.